Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to understand how we can create an uh, RDS desktop pool. And from there, we will try to publish few applications which are already installed with the server like Notepad and uh, with our Horizon administration, with our Horizon environment. So for this demo, I'll be using 2008 R2 as an RDS master image. And uh, my Horizon connection server is a 7.8 version. So let's start with the demo here. You can see the RDS server on the desktop on the Horizon administration. I'll just take a, a snapshot of this uh, RDS server uh, as I have already uh, optimized it earlier. Uh, though not optimized, I have installed the agent. The optimization is something that I have not done with this server. So I'll just give it a name that the agent installed. No optimization. We'll wait for it to complete. And uh, once it is done, we can Okay, we can go to our view administration console. I'll just create a new access group uh, for the easy understanding and uh, uh, with the name RDS, hit okay. Now we'll go to farms and create, add a new farm. I'll create an automated form with an instant clone machine as I have selected that instant option when I was installing the agent. So I'll give it a name. I'll use that access group which I just created. I'll keep these all these settings as default as I don't want to change them and I'll hit next. This should be good. Hit next. Now I'll give it a naming pattern. Let me give something like this as I have given this for all of my, my setup. I'll be using the vSAN so I'll select the first option. Hit next. Now we'll have to verify the parent VM on the, from the vCenter server. So I'll just wait for it to show up. The RDS server is the name. I'll select that option. Now let's select the snapshot. The agent uh, no optimization snapshot name was there. I'll just select the folder as default. And then let's select the cluster at the horizon cluster and the resource pool as horizon. Right. Once this is done, we'll just select the data store, the vSAN data store which we have in our environment. The network should be fine. Use the network from the parent VM image. That should be okay. We'll hit next. Now we'll just change the location of the AD container so that I have to create a new container here for the RDS uh, computers. So let me right click, create a new uh, OU RDS container. RDS computer, yep, that should be fine. Hit OK. We'll do a browse here and uh, once it will show up, I'll just select uh, that theme OU that I've just created. Now this should be good. I'll use check, uncheck this option. Now we'll hit finish. So now this will start the configuration and uh, deploy the first uh, a horizon agent vdi image on the vcenter server so as is again we have fast forward the video so that we don't have to wait for this task so uh, let's go back to the vcenter server here you can see the cp template has been created uh, so let's wait for the cp template to complete its configuration and uh, once it will be joined it will go ahead with the other tasks so here you can see the user uh, the cp template user is created at the moment so once this will finish we'll move on to the other tasks here All right, so virtual this digest is currently being configured. It will take a moment. All 
All right, now it is done. It will configure the CP replica uh, and the parents. So it will create a list of VMs based on the number of hosts that we have. So once this will be done, it will create the RDS M1. You can see the machine has been created. Now we will give it a moment and uh, see if it is able to join to the domain and uh, get a DNS name. Uh, you can see the name. Okay, so we can see the name is there. Now we'll go back to farms and under RDS host, we'll just double check if the machine is showing as available. So it is showing as available now. That should be good. We are good to deploy our applications now. So this looks good. We'll go to catalog in the application pools. We'll go ahead, click add the find the RDS uh, farm which we have just created and uh, select that. We can use the first option if you want to specify a specific application, but if you want to do it from the installed applications, you can select any one from the list below. I will be using notepad and uh, command prompt and uh, paint so these are the three applications I'll be publishing from here okay everything else looks good hit next okay this looks okay we can hit finish now now we'll entitle the users so for this I will be entitling most of the my most of my users which are linked and instant and the administrator so we'll just uh, quickly find them Select and hit OK. And uh, we'll add the last one as well, the administrator. All right, now let's just hit OK. All right, so everything is added from here. We'll hit OK. And uh, now we can see the three applications being published. They are all in available state at the moment. So we'll go ahead and uh, it should be good for us to minimize it now and open the Horizon client. So let's just minimize it, open the Horizon client. We'll select the connection server. Here we should be able to, once we'll be able to log in with any user, we should be able to see the applications that have been published. So let's give it a moment or two. It will start showing it up. Okay, now we'll just open Notepad and see if it is working. So by the by default, it should work now. We should be able to access the Notepad machine here. Notepad uh, application. Uh, uh, let's give it a moment. Sometimes it takes time to load the application.